SNES Chat. Earlier, I made a video where I picked a few Super Nintendo games that I thought deserved Super Nintendo sequels. Now I'd like to talk about some games that I think should get modern sequels or outright remakes. And I'm going to try not to repeat any on the previous list, although all of those would be good candidates for this one as well. Now some games have already gotten the modern treatment to mixed results, whether they were entirely remade like Turtles in Time or Final Fantasy IV, replaced from its series canon entirely like East 3, or given a chance to continue its series like Shadowrun or Link to the Past with Link Between Worlds. And I'll be honest, Link Between Worlds is the inspiration for this video. It's a fantastic game and I'd love to see other Super Nintendo games get the same treatment. The first game that comes to mind for me for a modern remake or sequel is Space Megaforce, the best shoot 'em up on the Super Nintendo. If they could somehow capture that same flawless balance of spacing and speed, then I would love to see this game get an update. Look no further than modern shoot 'em up games you see on Steam, or even games like Rez and Ikaruga, to get an idea of how awesome Space Megaforce could be if it got a reboot. It would be chaotic, a total mind trip, all while keeping the same consistent gameplay, weapon system, and tripped out level design. The next game that comes to mind is Ken Griffey Jr. Presents Major League Baseball. If you're familiar with this channel, then you know how much I love this game. And hey, if games like the EA Sports NHL series and NBA Jam can get reboots, then why not this game? Just update the physics engine a bit to allow more realistic variables and results for at-bats. That's the trouble with an older baseball game like this. There's a finite number of patterns the ball will travel. A remake would open up the game for any number of possibilities. And of course, we'd have modern players and teams. Make it happen, Nintendo. Next, I have kind of a weird suggestion, Mario Paint. Modern consoles are essentially just desktop PCs with tons of proprietary crap anyway, so why not make like a Nintendoized version of Adobe Creative Suite? Mario Maker appears to be a step in this direction by giving the player the ability, with some hand-holding, to create their own game. But really, I just want an updated version of the Mario Paint music composer and the ability to switch through different sound fonts of games past. I know you can kind of do this already with Fruity Loops, but it'd just be cool if Nintendo officially opened up the vault and made more music available to mess around with. Anything beyond that to me would be a bonus. There's also ActRaiser. Okay, I'm cheating again. Not only did this game get a sequel, but it was on my previous list for games that need Super Nintendo sequels. But still, I love the potential that exists for this game. Clear out a demon-infested area and beat the boss that wrecked a village in an action-based side-scrolling mode, then promptly rebuild the city while protecting it from other monsters, from high up above on your, uh, god cloud. I always thought the city building element could really benefit from some modern touches, or even give it a real-time strategy component. The point is, this game represents a ton of possibilities when you consider a modern remake or a sequel. Gonna go off the map here a bit with the next two games. Hyperzone is an enjoyable rail shooter that did a tremendous job taking advantage of the Super Nintendo's Mode 7 capabilities. Seriously, this game looks like if F-Zero were a shooter on acid. It's a pretty simple game, there's only 8 levels, but like Space Megaforce, this is a game I'd love to see get the modern treatment. This game is crazy to look at as it is, but I can only imagine what it would look like if the guys that made Rez got a hold of it. Vortex is an interesting game that not too many people know about. It featured the Super FX chip, which only a handful of other games had. This was an ambitious game, but very clunky and awkward at times. I really want to like Vortex, but I really can't recommend it. It is an interesting experiment for the time, however, which is why I'd like to see a remake. Not necessarily some fancy-ass modern game with tons of modern polish, like I'd like to see with Space Megaforce and Hyperzone. I just mean a more finished version of the game. I do like Vortex, but it could use more focus and more personality, so I think a remake would do some justice to the ideas this game has. It'd be nice to see something in the vein of the kind of game you'd see on Game Boy Advance, or even the 3DS Virtual Console. Liberty or Death is one of several strategy games made by the developer Koei in the mid-90s. This one came out for Super Nintendo, Genesis, and PC. These kind of games at the time were hard to get into and had a steep learning curve, but I always thought the idea of this game was really cool. The game pits the British against the fledgling Americans during the Revolutionary War of 1776. The game is turn-based, and there's a lot of detail under your control. Everything from how Congress or Parliament budgets your military, training your troops, bribing enemy troops, dealing with militia regiments, and of course the battles themselves, which are fun. I'd love to see this game get re-released with a more user-friendly interface, and maybe an easier learning curve. EVO Search for Eden is a very ambitious game that in some ways was way ahead of its time. 
You start the game as a fish, swimming around eating other stuff. You keep grinding and grinding and grinding, eating everything until you evolve, gaining teeth, claws, really whatever you choose from this menu here. Eventually you can get legs so you can walk and get on land. I really like the idea of this game, but man, it takes a long ass time to get into stuff. So yeah, I'd love to see an updated version of this game that wasn't so grind heavy. Remember that game Spore? This is sort of the 16-bit version of that game. Spore was considered disappointing, and rightfully so. Evo's Search for Eden was a mixed bag, but there's definite potential there to work on. I'd love to see a remake of this game to see it fully fleshed out and its ambitions fully realized. Then there's Soul Blazer, the first game in the Enix Quintet trilogy. It's the least of those three games, but it's still decent enough. I gotta admit, it hasn't aged too well, so it'd be nice to give this game either a redo or a sequel. After seeing how the story developed in games like Terranigma, I'd like to see a bit more fleshing out of the narrative in Soul Blazer and maybe jazz up the combat a little bit. Take a page out of the book of games like Alkahest, Lufia 2, or even Link to the Past. I just think this game and its world are a good opportunity as something to be built on, because it's a perfectly good game, but it just feels like there's something missing. And when I see what a game like Link Between Worlds can do for an adventure game like this, I can't help but wonder how much better this game could be. Last, I'll throw Super Metroid out there. Hey, why not? This game is of course a classic, nothing will touch the original, but could you imagine a rearranged soundtrack with reworked graphics with art design borrowed from games like Limbo, Tesla Grad, and A Walk in the Dark? Of all the games in the Super Nintendo library, I really think Super Metroid would benefit most from a modern remake. Sure, the novelty of some of the other games being remade would be great, but I honestly believe that there's a real opportunity with Super Metroid and its world to be newly realized and seen in a different lens, or even a darker lens no less, I think it can be done. I mean, again, you saw what the 3DS can do with Link to the Past, and its gameplay and the map in Link Between Worlds. That was a fantastic game that immediately became one of my three favorite Zelda games ever. Imagine what can be done with the style of design, with the power of next generation graphics and presentation. It'd be freaking sweet! Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.